up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86 TV. And if you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And don't forget about our live shows. I'm live every Wednesday and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's get it popping. Let's get into our video. And today, we got to talk about Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford and why... What they've been saying on Twitter should have you excited that all of them Mike Coppinger reports and the net revenue and everything putting this fight in doubt. Maybe you should be a little bit more optimistic like I've been telling y'all. Now, I let shit play out, bro. I seen everything that everybody was saying. I really did. And I seen, you know what I mean, what Earl Spence said. Terrence Crawford's response to it. Now, I waited to see what people would say, what they would, you know, what arguments they would try to make. And, and to me, a lot of people are missing the boat. Because I believe that everybody sees everything in terms of this boxing shit. I believe that Terrence Crawford saw what Earl Spence said. I believe that Earl Spence saw what Terrence Crawford said. And what I'm referring to is Earl Spence tweeted at Keyshawn. Hey, man, Keyshawn Davis, that is, hey, man. All that cheerleading and shit your ass, you're going to be heartbroken when I put that boy dick in the dirt. That's what he said. Talking, talking about when he do what he going to do to Terrence Crawford, your heart going to be broken. Earl Spence also came out and said, all y'all need to know is that the shit happened in next. So all y'all need to know, the shit happened in next. And then, of course, you know the, the, the Terrence Bud Crawford um, Justice League and, and, and Bud Fanboy Committee. They need them narratives to be right. They need Earl Spence to be ducking so they don't look stupid after saying that bullshit for all these years. They need the fight not to happen so they can keep that all man Al Heyman, PBC, Earl Spence. They never want to fight. They blocking the fight. They need that shit to be true. So in, in, in true form, true to themselves, oh, man, what do you mean next? What do you mean next? Why he tweet at Keyshawn? He didn't tweet at Bud. Why he tweet at Keyshawn? Who he talking about next? He could be talking about Keith Thurman. Next what? Next century? Next what? What's next? Next decade? Come on, bro. If he really meant it, he would have tweeted that butt. You know the same shit when Earl Spence said, yeah, I'm finna beat Ugas' ass and I'm coming to get that fourth belt. He didn't call out Bud Crawford. How you know he talking about Bud Crawford? He didn't call out Bud Crawford directly. He didn't say his name. <laughs> what you mean, bro? <laughs> What other belt is there if he gets Ugas' belt? Shit like that. So they back in rare form. They going in on Earl Spence yesterday. And I just sat back. I, I let the shit play out. And then right as they going in last night, Bud Crawford responds to Earl Spence. Hits him with the gift. And Shannon Sharp. You know what I'm saying? Hit him with it. Now, why would that make your boy knock out optimistic? Because I don't think like these other dudes. But that's why I believe you're watching this video. Because... I have my own way of thinking, man, and it's really, really, you know, just different from a lot of these people because we, we think critically over here. So, I believe that Terrence Crawford saw both tweets from Earl Spence. I believe he saw the tweet where Earl Spence was saying, man, all I know this shit next. Like, whatever y'all talking about, shit next, bro. Exact tweet says, shit is happening next. All you need to know was one of his tweets. The other tweet was, I don't need to lie to you. I don't throw shade. Your little chili ass is going to be heartbroken when I put that boy dick in the dirt, is what he said to Keyshawn Day. Now, I believe that Terrence Bud Crawford follows Earl Spence on Twitter, and I believe Earl Spence follows Terrence Crawford on Twitter. If not, they got a bunch of people around them that's going to tell them what the other one is saying. So I believe wholeheartedly that Terrence Bud Crawford saw both tweets from Earl Spence. Now, call me crazy if you want to. But tell me this don't make sense. If the fight wasn't happening next, if Earl Spence was capping when he said all, all you need to know is that the shit is happening next, if he was capping, if he was lying, if what he said wasn't true, why didn't Bud put that same gift to that tweet? 
Why did Bud respond to the one where Earl said, I'm going to put his dick in the dirt, basically I'm going to beat his ass? Why did Bud respond to this one like, nah, you ain't going to beat my ass, bro, you got me messed up. Why did he respond to that one instead of responding to the one where Spence said, all you need to know the shit is happening next. That's all y'all need to know. It's happening next. So, if Spence was lying, if he was capping, wouldn't Bud respond to that tweet? Just, you know, food for thought, right? Because we, cause we, can, we can educate it. We can take an educated guess and know that he is aware of or that he saw both of those tweets. And if he saw both of them, why is the one that he said hell no to the one where Spence said, I ain't got to lie. When he said, I ain't got to lie, he's talking about the fight happening next. You going to be heartbroken when I put that boy dick in the dirt. Why is that the one that he like hell no to? But he ain't say hell no to the one where Spence said that it was next. And if you remember, they both, like, forget what, no disrespect, no disrespect, because she's supposed to ride for her brother, but forget what Letitia Crawford's talking about, forget what Mike Coppinger's talking about. When you hear from both of these fighters, they tell you that they are confident that the fight is happening next, bro. They tell you that shit, out their own mouth, and with their own tweets. So, miss me with all of this. The, like, this negative energy, bro. Like, some of y'all are just too negative for me. Like, you don't want to see the fight. You'd rather be right. You scared that the guy that you back in going to lose because what you going to do the next day? Because that's all you talk about. You've been riding You've been riding on this fight and, and banking on this fight and being right about it for the entirety of your channel and your entirety time on YouTube and you ain't got shit else to talk about. So you'd rather the fight not happen so you can keep pushing... Your guy is the best narratives without him actually proving it. Me, I want to see the fight, bro. So this shit has me excited. Go back and forth some more. Please do the shit again today. If you could. That would make me very excited and very happy, bro. So I find it very interesting. I haven't heard anybody bring this up. Very, very interesting that that is the tweet that Bud decided to respond to and not the tweet where Errol Spence said that the fight is happening next. Because you would think if that was Cap, that would be the one. He'd be like, man, hell no. Or why not say, how's it? Like, that's what I'm saying, bro. Why not say all this shit that all these guys got to say, right? Letitia Crawford even, she, 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 she tweeted at Errol Spence, right? All this stuff that people from the Bud Crawford side have to say, how come none of them went at him when he said that? How's it going to happen next, Earl? Y'all doing this. You only offering 35%, Earl? No purse up front. How it's going to happen when y'all trying to get me to have no purse up front? You see how people will tell on themselves, bro? So if what Coppinger is saying is true, why wouldn't Bud go at Earl for saying shit happening next if he really is being offered that shitty-ass deal that they're reporting, bro? Why not go at that shit? That would be the perfect time. All I know shit happening next. How it's happening next when y'all don't even want to pay me? How's it happening next when y'all don't even want to be transparent? But nah. He, he responds to, oh, you ain't whooping my ass. You got me messed up. You putting who in the dirt? Shit. Not me. I'm beating your ass. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that shit's very, very telling, bro. It's very telling. And again, I got to keep saying this because I'm going a, I'm to a beat a dead horse so y'all understand it because y'all keep coming to my comments and you never answer the question. Explain to me why we are to believe these reports from Coppinger but not believe... Earl Spence when he talks. So I'm choosing to believe one of the fighters that's in it. I'm choosing to believe Terrence Bud Crawford's actions and what he's responding to and what he's not responding to. Your silence can speak a lot, bro. What you don't respond to, what you don't call out, that speaks volumes. That speaks volumes. So I'm very, very, I'm very, very optimistic today. More so than I have been in recent weeks. I still believe in this fight. I still think that we got a chance of getting it this year. And we'll see, man. We'll see. I, I, I'm just hoping that we can get it. See who wins. May the best man win. If we get a rematch because the fight is so great, then good. We get a rematch because the fight is so great. But we need undisputed at the welterweight division. But there's no reason why we couldn't get this. Bud Crawford ain't fought since November of 2021. Earl Spence fought in April of this year. 
why can't this fight happen in December, bro? Because November may be a little too late, unless they're doing the last week in November and we get the announcement tomorrow or early next week. So, why can't this fight happen in December, bro? I, like, I don't, I don't understand what the problem is. But shout out to both fighters, you know. I'm glad that they, that they had a little Twitter thing. I'm glad Earl came out and spoke his piece. Still confident that the, that, the fi- that the fight is happening. Basically telling us that it's happening next. And we'll see, man. I can't wait to see what, um, what lies ahead. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. What y'all think of their whole little Twitter back and forth? I believe it's alluding to the fight being confirmed. That's what I believe. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment down below. Smash the like. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction, knock out boxing 86 yahoocom is my email address. And don't forget about my live shows. I'm live every Wednesday and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And you can also catch me live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. I appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.